guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the brand new Hourglass Flash Vanish Highlighting Stick. This is what the packaging looks like and I am going to apply it to my skin so you can see it, um, talk about all the details and give you my full review. So if you're interested in that, then keep watching and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. I post new content every single week. I do beauty reviews, fashion, lifestyle, all kinds of different stuff. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. First, let's talk about the packaging. It comes in their signature triangle stick format. It's a silver package with black hourglass written on it. And you take the cap off and you can twist up for more product or down for less product. Um, this is much like their foundation stick packaging. I'm kind of indifferent about it either way, but it is nice. It feels like pretty good packaging. This retails for $42 and it comes in five shades. I have the Sephora site pulled up on my phone, so I'm just gonna read kind of what it says that it does. It says it is a highlighter in a smooth weightless texture designed to give you an instant flash of light for unparalleled glow and the se most seamless highlight. This long wearing innovative formula adjusts your body temperature to blend effortlessly into the skin. Soft focus technology creates a flash of light on the skin for a virtually perfect highlight every time. And I have mine in the shade Champagne Flash. They also have Gold Flash, Pink Flash, Rose Gold Flash, and Bronze Flash. I am excited about this one just because I do like champagne colored highlights. So that was really interesting to me. I also pulled out of my collection a couple of other champagne colored highlights that I have. And then also, um, I only have one other high end cream formula, which is the Marc Jacobs one. So I'm just going to do side by side swatches and compare the two formulas just so that you guys kind of get a full range of info on it. The first order of business is going to be to actually apply this to my skin. So I'm just going to twist it up a little bit and then apply it to the high points of my cheekbones. I don't have any highlight on yet today, so this is kind of the first. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers. Um, I've noticed I like blending the most with my fingers when I have a cream highlight. Unless I put it under all of my makeup, then I will apply it with a beauty blender or a sponge. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's super, super glowy. I also feel like I have to preface this, um, the video in general, because I did self-tanner and I did such a bad job on my hands and you're probably gonna see my hands a lot in this video, so don't judge me. All right, so this is what it looks like on the skin. I think that it's super, super pretty. Um, it's definitely one of those formulas that you can get a extreme glow, um, which is great. It also, I would say, is not more, it's not much of a like subtle highlight. Um, I did try it under my all of my other products. I put my foundation on and then this and then all of my other products. And it you would still see it definitely, but that made it more subtle than putting it on top of everything just because I had powder and then other products on top. But it's definitely not one of those like subtle ambient light kind of a highlights. Like I said, I have the Marc Jacobs Beauty Glow Stick and this one is in the shade 700 Spotlight. I don't think that there were any other shades when I got this and I, I'm not sure if there are any more, but this is also retails for $42 and it does have a, um, a twist up and twist down. This one has a much bigger um, applicator, so that is different than the um, Hourglass one. Obviously, this one is going to be more precise. This one I've never applied just straight to my face. I will put it on my finger and then apply it. Um, this one, even still, I don't really like to apply it with, my, with it on the stick. I think that it's a little bit harder just because it is pretty big. Like this triangle, it doesn't look that big, but for me, like I just... I want it to be more precise, so a lot of times I'll just take my finger and then, like on my nose, I'll just put it on my finger and then blend it out. I just think that I get a more precise application that way, um, but it's totally your own preference how you want to apply it. I did want to compare these and see what the difference was. So they're both $42, and I'm just gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. This is what they look like. To be honest with you, they look pretty similar in person. I don't think they look as similar in the packaging. I think that the Marc Jacobs one looks much lighter. Like this one looks almost white and pearly and this one is definitely champagne-y. Um, but on my hand, it's pretty hard to tell. 
So then I wanted to blend them out just to see how the blendability compared. Like I said, the Marc Jacobs one is the only other high-end luxury brand that I have of a cream highlighter. And so blending them out, honestly, is about the same. The Hourglass one blends out just like the slightest bit easier. And it seems almost like it's more of a gel consistency, just the way that it blends out easily. The uh, Marc Jacobs one is a little bit more firm, I guess. Um, but I would say that the color and the end result ends up being pretty slim similar. And then I also wanted to compare it to a few other champagne colored highlights that I have in my collection, even though they're powder highlights, just to see what the end result looked like. So I'm just going to swatch those on my hand really quick. I have the Milani Highlight in 02 Daylight, and this is what that one looks like. It's another really pretty champagne shade. And then I have the Becca Highlight in Champagne Pop. I'm just gonna put all of these on my hand and then blend them out and we will see. They do have similar coloring. So if you have one of those in your collection, that's kind of the coloring that you're going, you're going to get with this one. And those obviously are at different price points. Um, the Milani one is from the drugstore. I think it was like $8.99. And I believe the Becca one is $38. Let me just, let me double check how much the Becca one is. Yeah, the Becca one is $38. I don't know why I have this useless information of prices of products in my head, but anyway. Um, so yeah, a $8.99, $38, and then $42. So between the two high-end one, it's, ones, it's only a $4 difference. Um, but if you do have this one, it's gonna be a similar color, but it is definitely a different formula. It says that you can mix this with the Vanish Stick Foundation as well and kind of have a glowy foundation out of it. I haven't tried that because I don't have that foundation. I'm not really a big fan of stick foundations, so I haven't tried it, although I've heard that it's amazing and I kind of do want to try it, I just haven't yet. Um, so I can't attest to that. But like I said, I did put it on under all of the rest of my makeup and it did still make my skin pretty glowy. So overall, I think this is awesome. It's definitely a highlight that I'm going to use. Um, is it worth your money? I think it depends on what you have in your collection and what you're looking to add to your collection. I personally don't really like cream products except for highlighters. I think that they're kind of easy to use. Um, and I like that they're versatile and the fact that you can put them under your makeup, mix them in with your makeup, or put them on top of your makeup and get kind of different finishes with it. Um, I like that you can build them up and I do think that they blend out really beautifully. It's kind of harder to mess up than I think like cream blushes are to mess up. So I do like cream highlighters. If you don't have a highlight in your collection, I definitely think it's worth swatching them. I like that there are five shades because it kind of has a shade for everybody. Um, this one again is in Champagne Flash. And I think that this would last you for a very, very long time. Like there is a lot of product in here. You are not gonna go through this anytime soon. So that part I really like. I'm not gonna twist it up all the way because knowing my luck, it wouldn't twist back down. Uh, but there's tons of things I like about it. It just depends on what you're looking for and what you need to add to your own collection. Um, $42 is obviously pretty pricey for one highlighter, but if you are, if you have a gift card or if you're looking to splurge or if you just don't have a highlight in your collection and you're looking to add one, if you want to try out a cream product, definitely go into Sephora and swatch it and see if you like it. I think it's a beautiful highlight. It blends out gorgeously. It's pigmented. The coloring is gorgeous. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about it, but as far as actually purchasing it, I think it just depends on what you're looking for. Alrighty guys, that is everything for this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know either one, what your favorite highlighter is, or number two, if you've tried this out, what your thoughts are. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.